pleasure of having um, Jasmine in my class now, and, and Debbie was in my class last semester. And I'm here just to support and celebrate um, the Sustainability Art Contest. Nice. Thank you, Jonathan. Kohar, nice to see you. What do you, you want to introduce? Hi, uh, my name is Kohar Scott, and I'm an assistant professor in the Industrial Design Program. And I'm excited to see your artwork. I'm teaching a sustainable design class for the first time this term. So the topic is very relevant for us, um, but I'm, I'm really excited to see what you guys are, are working on. Nice. And then Chelsea, are you there? Yes, I'm here. I'm Chelsea. I'm the other intern from the Office of Sustainability, and I'm excited to see what everybody has created for today. Hey, thanks, Chelsea. And out of curiosity, what are those heads behind you? <laughs> Me? Yeah. <laughs> Those heads? Or, or like the one on the top. <laughs> that guy up here? Yeah. <laughs> I got I got that from a liquor store when I was in college and it was a Slim Jim uh, cup and it's a guy streaming, a screaming man and you put Slim Jims in his head. Interesting. <laughs> yeah. And those are puppets from the Green Ninja show over there that we use for our shows. And then our invisible guest, Debbie, do you want to say hi? Oh. Hi, I'm Debbie Andres, the sustainability analyst here at San Jose State. And I'm really excited to see the presentation as well. Thank you all for submitting. Uh, I know it was a crazy semester for you guys. And I know this is basically extra work for you. So we really, really, really appreciate it. Yeah. And so is it OK if we just start and hopefully yeah. um, Brianna will join us. So for if, if anyone doesn't know me yet, uh, my name is David Chai. I'm the program coordinator for animation illustration. And I am a member of the Campus Sustainability Board, as well as a member of the Green Ninja Project on campus, which makes educational content for kids to teach them about climate science. And I'm excited to be your uh, host. I rented this beautiful tuxedo, uh, green tuxedo. And I'm excited to be your host for the 2020 Sustainability and Art Competition which as you guys know, but just for people that are maybe listening to the recording, was a competition to celebrate uh, October, which is Campus Sustainability Month for many campuses across the country. And, uh, oh, look, here comes Brianna. I hope we don't scare her. Let's all, when she comes in, let's all like kind of wave and excitedly and say, hey, Brianna, get ready, get ready. This will be fun. Like really excited, like, oh, hey. Okay, ready? And you have to really do it, otherwise I'll look dumb which is not a problem. Get ready. Get ready. <laughs> Anticipation. Maybe it's not going to work. Maybe if I, if, I, if I start talking, inevitably, she'll pop on right when I start talking. So the goal of the sustainability and art competition was to encourage uh, young students to uh, create artwork that uh, sends messages about sustainability and environmental topics, which you guys did and which you guys did great. And the thing um, we really love, especially for this first year of doing it, is that we recognize that um, just doing an art, an art contest during school is challenging, but then doing it when you're sheltering in place and with the, all, the, all the other stresses of you know, the, the, the times, we were very impressed that you guys did even have the time to do it because I know I had a lot of my own students who said, oh yeah, I'll do it. And I even said, I'm gonna make a poster, sure. And then I had no time. And so thank you guys so much for taking the time to, to take on such an uh, important topic and, and do the artwork. And what we'd like to do is um, we'd like to have each of you, we'll, we'll like to show, share, or, uh, you know, show what you did. And then if you guys could take a few minutes just to kind of introduce yourselves and talk about uh, what, what your concept was behind the piece, but not also talk about you know, some, of the, some of your, I guess, personal philosophies or whatever in, in environmental sciences and sustainability. Is that okay, Becca? Sounds good. I'll start sharing the presentation right now. And so the first one I believe is Lanny. There. So Lanny, do you want to? Oh, I saw talk, stop talking. Yeah. Okay. Lanny, I'm a fine arts major. I'm being, I'm a pictorial major, so I paint. 
So I paint in class. So I was like, I don't want to paint for this competition. I'm going to make a video. And then I use Adobe After Effects and I just mainly use typography because it's, it's very easy to use and then you don't have to buy any much assets. And so my idea was like, I was partially inspired by a lot of like design companies who did like the, the I think the Apple AirPod commercial, the typography one and like some other stuff. I like, like other like industries and stuff. So I really wanted to make something kind of like modern consumerist, but like for the planet because like the planet, I think is the most important client there is, but they don't have, it doesn't have money to give people to make, make ads for it. So I thought it'd be a really fun choice. And so, yeah, I kept it really simple and short and kept like a really minimalist like um, type of design theme. And yeah. Cute. And do you mind if I ask, uh, having done a project uh, with like graphic design elements, are you inspired to take any graphic design courses as electives, like intro um, to typography or? It's hard because my preferred major would be like something pictorial, spatial, mm -hmm. maybe graphic design, but there's nothing like that there. So that's kind of like, I study like, I guess I choose, I like to draw the best. So like pictorial seems to make sense for me and I just do graphic design on my own. Nice. Well, cool. Well, thank you very much. And we'll give you a virtual clap like this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then Rebecca, can we go to the next slide, please? And the next one I believe is Debbie Lamb. Yes, it is. And Debbie, do you want to talk about your piece, please? Yeah. Um, so I'm a fourth year here at San Jose State and I'll be uh, majoring in photo with a minor in photography. Um, uh, so my inspiration for this piece was that just based on the events um, that have started or been emphasized since COVID hit us, um, I wanted to create work that evokes the piece that we're all like craving now. Um, uh, like the things that have happened and are happening right now, um, they've prompted me to think about how our future will be sustainable, like environmentally and like politically. Um, and um, I, uh, so a lot of my work recently has been with my scanner in my room because I just like haven't been outside lately because of like I don't want to catch COVID and um, like. Just being in my room is like my sanctuary these days. So, um, um, yeah, <laughs> um, sorry. Uh, and then um, what I work to now for sustainability is that I know I feel really guilty when I order things online and it comes with like an unnecessary large box, like so much packaging, like so much packaging. And so um, what I do with it is like I hang on to it and then I like to use it as like props for my photos or like um, use it to like bounce light off or I just like try to save as much as, uh, of it as I can. Yeah. yeah. Awesome, great. Right. And I think it's really cool that you used your scanner to do this. I, know, I didn't realize that until I read the description uh, that you sent, submitted. That's really cool. Thank you. And then next we have a piece from Larry. And is, it, is your last name pronounced like Castrens, Larry? Yeah, it's Castrens. Cool. And would you like uh, to speak speak about your piece, please? Yeah. Um, so I normally don't do any visual art. Like, I, I don't really paint anything, but I thought it'd just be really fun to just jump into it. And so um, what I have here is I, I watercolor painted the earth. And um, I wanted to, like, make a creative visual by, like, combining what we were talking about in, like, lots of the uh, sustainable sustainability month uh, talks and also the, cur uh, the current situation is uh, we're in, like, uh, with COVID. And so I was thinking like virus and plastic. And I was like, how am I gonna put that together? And uh, it just brought me back to biology and um, what the virus looks like. And I'm like, I think it would be really cool if I turned that virus into like a water bottle and then the earth was like a cell and it's just like, it's attacking that. And so this piece is called Plastic Pandemic. And so, yeah. And then I just, I had uh, uh, plastic bottles. And then so I just decided to cut them up and then I put them over the world, like it's spreading over it and so. Yeah, that's that's what I have here. Awesome. And did, did it inspire you to uh, pursue more art? Did you have fun doing it? I mean, I had fun. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I'll, maybe I'll do something else. I have no idea. Well, you have I, to. This was just pure fun, so I, I, I don't know. Yeah, so for next year, you're, you're a, a returning contender. So you have to, you have to. Do, maybe. Yeah, <laughs> good. And then um, did uh, Brianna, did you ever show up, Brianna? 
Let me just look through our list here. It doesn't look like it, but Brianna has a super, super cool piece. And uh, she's a native Bay Area native and digital media artist. And you could read this slide. I'm not going to read the whole slide to you. But this was a cool, super cool uh, sort of multimedia piece uh, that we really liked that you guys, uh, that she submitted. So Brianna, thank you. And if, you've been, if you're listening to this uh, presentation, the recording of this presentation, we, we appreciate all your hard work. And we really like your piece. And then our next one is Jasmine, Jasmine Jubain. And Jasmine, uh, would you like to speak about this one, please? Uh, sure. Um, so for my project, I was really inspired by um, global warming and pollution. That's, you know, you know how it's like damaging the environment. And I was really inspired by that recently, as well as in my spare time, I also play video games. So I'm also motivated to make these kinds of artworks through like kind of the visual um realistic version of fantasy worlds so um i really wanted to express the carbon emissions and plastic emissions that are happening in the environment and there these can um sorry <laughs> um in my personal life, I really wanted um, to reference this because I kind of use reusable tote bags a lot, and I don't like using plastic bags because they end up like causing a lot of waste in your home. And then, I, whenever there is plastic bags, like when I go like run errands or when I go to the grocery store and I see trash in the environment, I end up even though it's not my job to, I end up picking up after people and I try to make a change, even though it's a small change. Um, I would like to at least like better the world a little bit at a time while I'm here. And yeah, that's pretty much my project. Awesome. Well, thank you for bettering the world by uh, picking up after people, but also making artwork that's going to inspire them to not litter and pollute the planet. So thank you for that. And then I think uh, we were, we we're going to ask a couple of questions of our, um, to each of our panelists. Did what was? Oh, do you want me to? So we want to ask each of you guys, and we'll go around in in, a, in order. But the first the first question we're going to ask all of you guys is, uh, what was the inspiration behind your art piece? Some of you guys uh, already kind of spoke to that, but if you could, if there's anything else you want to um, add about that, and then after that we're going to ask for what your future plans are for you and your art. But um, Becca, would it be okay if we switch back to? Um, gallery view so we can see the artists better. So inspiration, first question, and then future plans, second question, if that's yeah. okay. If it's all right, I'm also going to go back to the first video because Sansa message that she wasn't able to see it very well. So I'm going to replay. Oh, the let's do it. Yeah. If I could get back to. So here's there. a repeat, repeat performance. Oh, oh don't look. Spoiler. Yeah, I'm not used to the Canva. And it was right here. Could you share your computer sound? Because I can't hear the music with it. Were you not able to hear the computer sound with that one? Correct. And I could hear it, but at the beginning, I, it went away. Mm. Let me see. I think if you play it again, it might work. OK, let me play it one more time. Stop sharing. So Lani, um, did you have anything else you wanted to add about the inspiration to your piece? Yeah, so like the point is I the first segment, it's really fast and it shoots all these like weird like food ingredients on, at you. It's like if you look at a box of like processed foods, it's like da 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 da, -da sodium nitrate, da 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 da. I'm like, I don't know what that means anymore. <laughs> I'm like, why is it so complicated? And then typically supermarkets, they know people walk in a counterclockwise fashion. So they, you walk towards like the health foods first or on the outer end and then all the processed foods are in the middle. 
so you end up in a processed food section and they know that and then they like it entices you but like when you actually look at it and you try to understand what the food is actually is it doesn't make any sense anymore i'm like Ugh. it's like people are like taking food processing it pretty and mixing up other food to make processed food it's just so much extra and then it's just better like to be simpler and just like eat want french fries eat a potato like cut it up and fry it or bake it or whatever it doesn't make any sense anymore yeah. and then yeah and it's just less it's less energy intensive and it's less waste too because you're less not using packaging not using the all the processes they make to use to make those type of processed food so like my idea was like my favorite compositional technique is like um, build up of tension and release of tension. So I use that fast snappy music to like barrage you with those all the ingredients. Then like I did the transition and did like a release of tension for the payoff. And it's and I and I kept it simple. And that was pretty much it. Nice. Well, thank you very much, Lani. Thank you. And Debbie, uh, did you have anything else you wanted to add to your inspiration uh, behind your work? Um. Not, not too much. I just, uh, I was thinking afterwards, I forgot to add that um, the piece is supposed to be like a metaphorical, like um, thing of the, you know, the metaphor, like um, extending an olive branch for like, peace. Um, and so that was just kind of representation of that. Yeah. Have you done other work using a scanner as your, as your medium? Yeah. Um, this is just like an add on to my like scanner work. Yeah. <laughs> so. Yeah. That's cool. Very cool. Uh, are you going to you hopefully do a gallery show maybe when we're back in school and share some of it? Oh, I want to. <laughs> That'd be yeah. fun. Good. I hope, I'm looking forward to hopefully seeing it. Thank you. And then Larry, you, I know you talked a lot about your inspiration, but do you have anything else you wanted to add to it? Um, no, not really. I think I covered it all. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you for that thorough, uh, thorough presentation. And then uh, Jasmine, how about you? Is there anything else you wanted to add to it? Um, I just wanted to say really quick that um, my professor, uh, actually Jonathan Fung, actually really motivated me and like inspired me to make more messages within my art. So even though it's it's been a challenge for me because I usually work with illustration, I want to strive to have more messages and meaning behind my artworks from now on. So. That's great. That's great. And thank you, Professor Fung, for inspiring people to give good messages through their artwork. And uh, the second question is, what's next for you guys, you great artists? Are you going to do any more environmental theme stuff? I know Jasmine, you're talking about that, but uh, what's what's next on what's next on the horizon, Lonnie? Um, definitely, yeah. I want to like ideally, I want to work for something that matters because climate is like a huge issue. I think the biggest out of all the issues we have, and we have so many. And then, like ideally, I want to work for something more climate orientated, but like. I know what I'm lacking the most is experience. So like, I'll just pick up experience where I can and like, eventually I get to work for what I want to do. Yeah, nice, that's great. How about you, Debbie? Wait, sorry, <laughs> what, was, what was that? <laughs> what's, what's, what's next for you? What, what, what's, what's next on your artistic horizons? Um, uh, just more scanner things. <laughs> um, any, any particular themes or uh, is it environmental or? Just all different things, whatever pops into mind, or yeah, I've been thinking about that the past few months. I've had I've been having a really hard time like coming up with um, a direction where of where I want my art to go. So I don't really. Yeah. Okay, come on, Larry. Tell us you're going to do some more artwork. <laughs> you don't have to say um, it. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. But what, what what's new? What's next for you? What kind of work are you doing? Um, I mean, I. I guess like art, I mean like visual art is real, isn't really my thing. I prefer doing stuff with like music. So maybe I'll do something with that. <laughs> I mean, if that's allowed. Yeah, come on. <laughs> okay, what, what, so, what kind of music do you make? Or what do you play? Or how do you do um, it? I play like ukulele, some guitar, a little bit of piano. So I don't know, I was thinking of like writing a song, but I was like, wait, I don't know if that's allowed. And so I did something more visual instead. <laughs> well, next year you can, you can enter a multimedia piece. Mm, okay. All right, cool. And Jasmine, same question. What's on the future for you? Um, I think I'd like to work with more nature and human condition illustrations because that's something that is like prevalent with me right now that's like impacted me. So I would like to make more artworks revolving around that. And also there's this artist that I really look up to 
and her name is Yume. Um, she does like these really like s- like super great like illustrations that you know mention like things that are very important happening right now, such as like the wildfires and being stuck at home in quarantine. So um, that's that's another artist that I really look up to, and I would like to make more work, but um, using my voice. Yeah, I think that's great. You know, and that's something we mentioned in our kickoff meeting I, for those of you that were there is that. You know, it's it's cool to make artwork, but it's you know we don't want to just do it. Well, you can do whatever you want, but you know it's it's we can make something that's more than just decorations for apartments. You know, we could change the world. You know, and that's pretty important because the world needs a lot of changing. So thank you guys for for being a part of this. And then something we really loved was that um, there was such a variety of the different submissions. And so I don't know, Becca, is it time that we could announce the categories of? Uh, the prizes in best one. Yeah, and so the, the, the way we've been doing this on, on Zoom, when we do a drum roll, you have to go like this. Yeah. So tell, tell me when you're ready, Rebecca, and we'll do a drum roll. Share my screen now. It's going to take me a moment. So you could start right now. OK, guys, if we could have a drum roll, please, virtual drum roll, you just go like this. You don't have to make the sound, but if you want to, you can. Oh, and. Yeah. and <laughs> Let's see. Are you able to see it? Not yet. Well, give me one more. Second. But I'll keep. I'll keep drum rolling. I could do it all day long. Keep up the. Keep up the. I do it like the the suspense. All right, and here we go. So these are the categories, and this worked out amazingly because uh, we didn't realize we'd have this wider range, but it worked out perfectly. So, uh, for photography, or I guess we'll call it scantography. Uh, Debbie, we have a prize for you in that category. And then uh, for best narrative, um, oh, sorry. And for best narrative category, we uh, picked Jasmine for your illustration of the, the centaur, centaur woman in the polluted, uh, polluted land. And then Lani, we picked you for best multimedia, which was great. And it was nice that you, uh, we loved seeing you uh, step out of your kind of painterly painterly uh, comfort zone and do some some other stuff. And I thought that was really cool. And then Larry, we thought yours was the best use of found materials. And so we appreciated the fact that you repurposed uh, the, the plastic bottle and made artwork out of it instead of throwing it in the street for Jasmine to pick up when she's doing her civil duty. And then uh, civic duty. And then best 3D, Brianna Dula, Dulai. Um, we just thought that was the best, uh, best uh, 3D design. So. You guys covered all the categories, even though we had a smaller, uh, a smaller group. So thank you very much and congratulations. And Debbie, I don't know if you want to talk about uh, uh, the prizes or how we plan on uh, presenting the work, or if you want me to. So the first thing is, um, well, here, are you still are you still there? Um, one of the plans was that we were going to have um, the pieces. In- Oh, sorry, I've been talking literally all day. Uh, <laughs> the piece is uh, exhibited at uh, History San Jose, the museum, and it'll be outdoors. Um, when we come back on campus, we intend on putting um, the, uh, the pieces in a slideshow that shows in all the, the screens that you see at the, the first floor of all the buildings. So that's another. Um, in the meantime, before we come back on campus, it will be um, showcased on the art website, um, our website, and I believe somebody else's, I can't remember. Um, <laughs> and then I will be emailing you your prizes very shortly. So thank you and congratulations again. You guys did a really awesome job. Yeah, congratulations, you guys. And something we, we, something we learned, um, Oh, look at the chat is blowing up. So Peggy, Peggy says, thank you for all the wonderful art you created. Look at this. I learned this from my students. And John and Professor Fung, and the, oops, just saw your message, no. And then Professor Fung, congratulations everyone, inspiring work. And a climate change playlist, I've been wanting one forever. That's great. But so, <laughs> something we learned from this, this year's uh, competition is that um, for next year, we might, uh, I, I don't know if this is uh, scheduled yet, but we might, schedule the art competition to create the art over the summer so it doesn't conflict with your classes so we get more even more entries next time and if we do um i don't know if we if we do next summer we might be able to put them all together for the displays on campus as well i don't know but i would love it if you guys can uh keep up the great work and um maybe submit again next year 
and we'll keep keep the keep the ball rolling. All right. Um, Peggy asked if the students have any questions. Would you want to? Do you want to ask any of us? Oh. Questions? Or I think well, but was Peggy asking if she could ask them a question? Is that right? Oh, yeah. sorry. Yeah, she did ask that, and again, yeah. it's okay. <laughs> Hi, Hi everybody. Um, thank you for your work. So I'm just curious, like, if thinking about you know sustainability and how you would create it and imagine it. What did you learn from this? Or did you learn anything? And it's okay if you didn't, but I'm just wondering if this helped you think about, you know, sustainability differently. Thank you. That's a great question. Thank you, Peggy. Uh, Lani, do you want to go first? Seeing we kind of keep the same order. Yeah, so like what we learned about sustainability. I think just anything you learned through, uh, through the process of, of uh, doing something on this topic, I think. Um, in terms of the theme of the sustainability, like I've been learning that like our diet matters a lot for the environment, like, especially for like animal agriculture, like it's super intensive on the environment. And mm -hmm. then like just eating meat or like yogurt or milk, like, it, like the like the animal factories they have is like, takes like a toll on the planet in terms of climate change. So just even saying like, I'm gonna buy chicken for it, like, dinner that has externalities imposed on that, but you don't know that. Just kind of crazy. In terms of my process, this is the first time I work with sound actually. So it was actually, I didn't know I can do it, but like I just tried it out and it worked out really nicely. So I was happy I tried that. Cool. And, uh, well, we're happy you tried that too. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. How about you, Debbie? Any takeaways from this project? Yeah, um, I learned that sustainability can be, it's like, it can be just like a small change, like Lonnie said. Um, it's um, its just the being conscious about what you're buying, how you're using the materials, like the unnecessary like boxes that come in with your packages, um, and just like reusing, and like, just, like small things. It doesn't have to be huge. Mm -hmm. But the little things add up, right? And then when everyone does them, yeah. How about you, Larry? Um, in plastic in particular, I, I learned that um, we need to be aware of like several aspects because in plastic, I didn't know that like um, not everything or everything that is recycled doesn't actually get recycled. And I thought, I thought that was like really shocking. I'm like, so then why am I putting it in the bin then? And I, I was like, that, that really like shocked me. And um, yeah, um, that's one of the things I learned. Uh, hopefully we can uh, educate more people about this and um, we'll start like a better movement to like get away from the from plastics already. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Jasmine, how about you? I thought it was interesting that Larry brought up the whole like if you recycle, it doesn't really get recycled because you see products in stores being sold as like recycled paper or recycled like plastic and it's like where does this actually come from so it makes you question like what our society is like labeling is not actually what it's what it really is and as for my process um, I primarily do work with uh, paints so it wasn't anything new to me but the medium was gouache so it was kind of new because I I actually just started working with gouache like this summer so it was it was kind of tough a little gouache, bit <laughs> gouache can be tough yeah for sure and larry just to just to, uh i think to clarify you were you weren't suggesting that uh re well recycling doesn't mean that it's not like nothing's getting recycled but there is a big percentage of stuff that's not recycled properly yeah that's what I'm yeah that's what i meant to say like a, a good amount of it's not actually getting recycled like it says it was getting recycled yeah yeah so we got to do a better job with recycling but also just not using stuff that needs to be recycled right mm -hmm. yeah for sure did uh anyone else have any other questions from the gang for the gang i had a question actually yes um so i know like a uh, part of the uh prompt was for teachers to also submit their art i was wondering if you guys also had art to show Ah, you <laughs> busted, busted. Yeah, I had every intention. I'm like, oh yeah, I'm gonna make a poster. And I just, I didn't have time to do it. So I'm as bad as my students, guilty. But I'll make a pledge. 
If you guys do another piece for the summer, I'll do one too. Sounds I can good. say, I can say, I can say that I have for the last 10 years been working um, with the Green Ninja Show and I've done uh, videos and puppets and animation and all sorts of writing poems and songs. So we've used a lot of artwork to try to teach environmental themes. And in so doing, like all of you guys have mentioned, like I've, I, I was pretty environmentally minded before I even started doing it. But now I'm like, a, I'm a maniac, like I'm a maniac. And just like try not to like using bar soap and not buying stuff from the store with plastic and you know crazy. So I've learned I've learned a lot over the years just by like you guys having to research and do the artwork, which is fun. Anyone else? Well, may I may I just say in closing that uh, I want to thank you guys for one for participating in the contest, but two I want to thank you for inspiring me because every time I work with young people who um, are anxious about saving the planet and doing something important for, for the world. It, it's inspiring and makes me want to keep going too. So uh, thank you guys for the artwork and thank you for the inspiration. With that, I wish you guys a, a wholesome and beautiful weekend. Uh, maybe not too much homework. Maybe when it's going to rain this weekend, so it's a good excuse just to take a nap. Cool. Is that good, Debbie? Does that conclude our broadcast day? I think so. Well, thank you so much again. Cool. So I hope to I hope to see you guys in, in on campus in uh, maybe fall, hopefully. And I look forward to hopefully gallery shows of you guys and uh, good stuff. So thank you. Thank you. Congratulations, everybody. You all did a great job. And thank you for the faculty who showed up to support our students and, you know, yes, thank you continue so much. To, to share sustainability on campus. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Everyone have a nice weekend. And uh, I guess we can just sit here and look at each other for a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> have a good evening. Okay. Bye. See you guys. Nice to meet everyone. <laughs>